Hello friends, this is Dr. Antoine, Daughter in International Entrepreneurship, General Managing Director of Elan Concert Company, a company specialized in capacity building, auditing, taxation, bookkeeping, strategic planning, data analysis, and decision making methods. In this video, I'm going to make a comparison of our uh, uh, weighting methods, criteria weighting methods that I have been presenting, but maybe you may have a question of knowing which method can be advised based on the comparisons of or the methods I have been presenting. Now, uh, friends, remember uh, in the process for weight calculation, there are what we call the subjective weighting methods, objective weighting method and integrated weighting method. We have been uh, working on subjective weighting method where well, I presented the three methods and in objective in objective weighting method I presented around four methods which I'm going to compare uh, to see which method can be advised to, to, to use when you are making your decision. And remember uh, the difference between objective uh, weighting method and subjective weighting method is that in subjective weighting method, normally uh, weights are influenced by the judgment or the appreciation of human being, but in objective weighting method, weights are calculated based on decision matrix. Now, friends, when we look at the results got from objective methods, one may ask him, he, his, himself or herself, what is the best method that can be advised to use? Now I'm going to show you the comparison of the results of the, these methods I have presented. And you will also appreciate with me which method can be the best. First of all, let's see the weights calculated based on the method of standard deviation. Now, as you can see here, weights here for this method based on standard deviation, we have uh, for quality. Uh, remember, I'm working on uh, the problem of car selection using uh, six criteria quality, condition, security, delivery days, fuel consumption, and replies. Now, when we use standard deviation approach to determine, to calculate the weight for each criteria, these are the results from standard deviation approach in calculating weight for each criteria. For instance, when you see here, when you look at um, the weight given to quality, it is this weight, condition this weight, security this weight, deliver this, this weight, fuel consumption this weight, and the price this weight. As you can see here, there is no big difference in terms of importance or choice among these criteria. As you can see here, because as you can see, the difference in these weights is not statistically significant because you see here we have 0 0.18 and here we have 0 0.17. But when we come here and when we come here, we look at the results of variance methods. The weights calculated based on variance method and standard deviation, they should not be great difference because standard deviation is the square root of variance, which means normally we can, using this method, you can have same result. Look, friends, when we use I see for when I calculate standard deviation, this value it is the square root of this value. This value, look in Excel it is a functional scene. I when I take the square root of this variance, look friends here. Uh, when I consider this the square root of this value, you will see I get the standard deviation. This value like this friends. 
as you can see here you see it is the same value which which justifies the lack of significant difference in terms of weights calculated based on uh, on standard deviation and variance okay friends uh, the conclusion on weights calculated based on variance it is the same there is no significant difference or in terms of preference among criteria because as you can see friends the weights are almost similar or are almost the same you see here uh, quality uh, the higher preference is on quality and conditions but uh, when you see here for price for instance price is given was given less importance and when we go with the next method, the non-entropy method, you can see here the high importance was given to quality, conditions, and security. But for fewer consumption in the price, you see they have a little influence on the decision of, of choosing a car. When you see here, for instance, here it seems there is no importance. There is no consideration of uh, price and here also for fuel consumption there is a little influence or a little consideration whether while quality and conditions were given the highest weights or highest importance in terms of influencing the decision of choosing the best car now we continue with this this method critic also based on intercorrelation between criteria also, when you look on the results, the results gotten from critic method are almost the same with the results from variance method. You see here this value from critic for quality, it is the same. Uh, conditions, this is the same value. Security, you see it is the same value. Uh, delivery days, it is almost the same value. And also, for fuel consumption, there's no big difference here, as you can see here. And we continue with the mean weight method. The, all those methods are objective weighting methods. When you can see here, mean weight uh, method gives equal importance to all criteria. That means there is, there is no any difference in terms of pre preference for the importance of criteria. Now, as you can see, these are the results from the mean weight method. And as you can see here also, the results from mean weight method are not very different from the result gotten from with critic, standard deviation, and variance. But if you remember when I was talking about some decision-making methods, including PSI, Preference Selection Index. This method, PSI, Preference Selection Index, allows to calculate itself weights for each criteria. It can be also included in uh, objective weighting methods. And when you look at the result from Preference Selection index, index, you can see clearly that there is, there seem to be a difference in terms of preference of this criteria in terms of weights of this criteria for for instance you see quality here this the value of 12 for quality 0 0.12 for quality 0, uh, 0 0.11 for condition 14 for security 16 for delivery days 20 for fuel consumption and 26 for price now you see while the entropy method gives a little importance or no importance for fuel consumption and price and plus you see here in the PSI method these value were the most influential values or influential criteria and also here for this method you see a mean weight method critic method and variance method and standard deviation method you see this value uh, this criteria fuel consumption and price price didn't get the most influential um, 
weights. But in this PSI method, preference selection method, this criteria got the highest influence. Now, as I can see, in reality, in terms of buying things, price must have the high, should have the highest in, in influence. And this is non-beneficial criteria. Remember, friend, th these are non-beneficial criteria. And as you can see here, non-beneficial criteria got highest weight. They are the most influential. They are the most influential. While uh, for entropy, these these um, uh, for entropy, for instance, for entropy uh, methods. This value of non-influential non-influential criteria did, didn't get the highest influence or the highest weights. Now, in conclusion, I can say that when you are choosing which method you can use among these objective weighting methods, I can advise you to use PSI method or preference selection index. If you didn't see the video or the way you can calculate weights from uh, using preference selection index, you can go and look on my video when I was talking about the method decision the decision method. This method where I presented preference selection index, you will see step by step how you can calculate weights criteria weights using PSI index. These are the methods. These are the procedures, and now here you get weight. Those are these, these are the formula for getting weight using PSI index. Okay, friends, I think this can also help you in your decision. And if you are interested, uh, we are going to launch certification in MCDM, Multicriteria Decision Mating. The procedure is simple. You choose five methods which you can use to calculate or to do examination and you rank an alternative and you calculate weights and you, you choose the best alternative and you submit your results and then you get your electronic certificate thank you friends for watching this video i think it will improve or it really contribute to increase your knowledge Thank you. I invite you to share this video and some, uh, subscribe to my channel not to miss the, the next videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. For next video, bye.